The waste is brought into the plant by panchayats in trucks and is weighed before being unloaded on the tipping floor. The front loader then takes this waste to the chain conveyor which carries it into a bag opener. The bags are automatically opened and the contents are carried by a conveyor to the mechanical roller screen, where large sized recyclables are screened and transferred on the sorting line and the waste is sorted into multiple recyclable factions. These factions are baled and stored separately in proper containers before being sent to recyclers. The under faction of the roller screen is taken to the Oryx, which is an organic extruder press. This unit automatically segregates the mixed waste into dry or inorganic factions and wet or organic faction. The organics are extruded out of the mixed waste under very high pressure in a pulp form. More than 95% of the organics along with moisture comes out into the pulp from the mixed waste. The pulp is then pumped into the dry thermophilic fermenter from where methane is extracted. The H2S is removed from the biogas by chemical scrubbing process and the pure biogas is fed to two engines with the potential to generate 7 megawatt hours per day. The excess biogas is flared off. The digested sludge from the digester is then taken to a screw press where it is dewatered and the fibers are fed into an in-vessel composter that converts it into compost. The dry remainder from the oryx is further taken via a permanent magnet to remove ferrous metal followed by flip-flow screen and a wind sifter for separating the grit and the RDF. The RDF is being used for co-processing by cement companies and the grit is used for filling up low-lying areas or disposed into the scientific landfill. All effluents from the plant, including flushing, flow washing and sewage are taken to an equalization tank. Suspended solids are settled in the clary flocculator. pH is corrected and the effluent is then taken to a membrane bioreactor for biological oxidation of organic contaminants using microbes. Once the organics have been removed, the effluent is pumped into a reverse osmosis unit for removal of dissolved solids. The clean and treated permeate is then used for gardening, floor cleaning, toilet flushing and other non-portable functions. All that remains at the end of the process is the grit, which is less than 10% of the waste received. This is put into a scientific landfill that is built and lined with bentonite, HDPE and geotextile covers. Safety is of paramount importance. The complete plant can be monitored and operated from a central control room via PLC SCADA based systems. The engineer on watch also has got a complete visual contact with key areas of the plant through a series of cameras. The odor levels are kept under control by effective use of large volume ventilation fans that draw the air from the process area and pass it through a biofilter before it is vented to the atmosphere. The ambient air inside the sorting station is always kept clean and cool by using air filter and cooling systems. We can already see a noticeable change in the surrounding natural environment.